Welcome once again, Spazites, to my little corner of the internet. And as you see, we have before us the hidden side JB's Ghost Lab, set number 70418. Get a close up of that. There we go. 70418 JB's Ghost Lab of approximately 174 pieces. Uh, this one does not have any transforming features, but it does have some app activities. So uh, let's go into it. It does have some moving parts, just not many. Um, let's put the box over here. <clears throat> okay, let's uh, start out by reviewing the minifigures here. Oof. First, we have JB. She comes with a smiling face and... Ah! A, a dirty frustrated or intense looking face and her uh her hair piece completely covers the back face so here you go i like the smiling face for now uh let's see we also got jack here sorry i'm used to my i've got my phone flipped the other way right now so i'm used to my camera lens being on this side of my phone <clears throat> there's jack with his phone and then Jack also has two faces. He's got angry face and happy face. Kind of like happy crazy face. <laughs> uh, oh. His hat doesn't want to go back on. There we go. Okay, and then next we have Mr. Elton, a.k.a. El Fuego. Now here's Mr. Elton. He's dressed up in like a, a, a mechanics gear. He's got a... a uh, whoops. Don't focus on the background. Focus on the minifigure. There we go. He's got a band-aid on his face, and he also has an alternate face. One that's scared. And the reason he's scared is because Mr. Elton is the one who gets possessed in this set. There's Mr. Elton possessed. And I guess for the next series... Uh, the second wave of these, uh, there's a El Fuego skeleton. So I don't know what happens to Mr. Elton then. I'm going to have to look up and see if there's an online, if, if they have an actual written lore. Otherwise, I'm probably just going to... I kind of want to make my own comic out of these. Just because there's so many and they're so cool. And then, as usual, we have yet another Spencer. I swear, they're putting this little dog, this little clear dog, on everything. It's cute, though. Little ghost dog. But now let's get down to the uh, the actual set. Uh, yeah, the actual set's got a lot of little details. This is uh, a lab, obviously. You've got your big uh, electric things up here. There's a, a tube going from here to this section here. This section has a moving part, and that's for the uh, app, the AR app. And then we also have a little dial down here. It's got a couple of moving... This on the back here has a moving part as well. I'm not sure why that's there. But here we have a moving part. It almost looks like it should slide into something. Uh, but I'm not sure what. We also have a little piece over here as well. I'm going to have to look and see if these are supposed to hook up with one of the other sets. That would be cool if they were. But <clears throat> anyway... For some reason, they put a little peg here. I'm not sure why that's there, unless it's to hold the hose thing when it's not hooked up to this machine here that has lots of little details on it. I love the building this. It's so cool. Uh, now, this machine, because of the way these are placed and how this, this almost looks like a gaping maw and those almost look like eyes, but the machine doesn't actually have a transformation like most of the other sets I've had. Uh, here we've got a camera, a keyboard, a wrench, and then little uh, specs, technical specs there. We've got a little beaker here and a pizza. Uh, this is really cool. We've got a, a 3D printer here. And inside our 3D printer, we have... I'm not sure what this is supposed to be, but that was inside the 3D printer. 
So that's what JB's working on. Now, the cool thing, another cool thing about this set, the cool thing, there's a lot of cool things about the set. Another cool thing about the set is there's detail in the back, too. We've got a little ladder up here that goes up to this, so JB can check all the connections and stuff. And then on the inside here, oh, I wish one of my lamps was facing a different way. On the inside here, we've got a big bulletin board with a minifigure head and what a minifigure's brain looks like, which is pretty funny. I like that. Uh, I almost think that they could have made this cylinder here a clear part here. It would have been a little bit of a bigger build, but they could have made this rotating, and there could have been a picture on the other side of this cylinder, and then you'd spin it around with a knob, and then you'd see a minifigure who's all ghosted out in there or something. Kind of like, like our poor Mr. Elton here. So, yeah. But yeah, that's that's about it for this set right now. I uh, once again, as with all of these uh, hidden side sets, I I love it. It's it's awesome. JB's working on her computer. Come on, JB. Right, there we go. There we go. Uh, maybe they changed Mister Elton into a ghost so that he can get into the uh, you know spy on what the ghosts or whoever's doing this stuff on the hidden side figure that out i wonder if there is truly like someone who's in control of this or if they're just like a, a crack formed in reality i really need to look it up but yeah this is the uh jb's ghost lab and it's a really cute little set so anyway thanks for watching and uh till next time be kind happy hunting and goodbye Come on, focus. Focus on the doggy. Focus on the doggy. Bark, bark. Bye. <laughs> That's enough out of me.